All right, so I'm going to close with a little story. So not too long ago, I my wife took off for a yoga retreat. So I was at home for about three days by myself. So usually when my wife leaves, it's just a series of fried chicken, you know, uh, lots of sugar, right? So it's just this whole sort of relapse of fast food and sugar, okay? And she left, I can't even remember, it might have been a Thursday or a Friday. So whatever, I finally had my window, my moment, right? So I've got all my shit, this junk, and I'm eating it. And I just, it no longer brought me joy. I, I was expecting to feel joy. I was expecting it, you know, like I'm, ooh, I'm getting away with something. You know, why is that here? I don't know what I want, right? And so I remember at some point, I thought, well, maybe I need a different snack. Like just the ludicrous, just addict thinking of like, maybe if I change drugs, then it'll make a difference and maybe it'll be different, right? So I get in my car and I go back to the store and I pick up some different stuff and I get in the car and my brain is just exploding. It's just screaming at me. It's like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to soothe yourself? What are you trying to escape from? Right? And I'm like, oh my God, my brain is coaching me, you know, and I'm driving and I'm like, I can't get away from myself. And it's like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I just don't know why. And if I sit here long enough, I'm going to find out and I don't want to. And it's just like, I'm battling with my own internal dialogue you know but it's my internal dialogue is so strong that it no longer is that really vicious inner critic it's just as like what are you trying to run from what are you trying to soothe what are you trying to not feel and i'm like it's going through my head and going through my head and i finally just surrendered to it and i said i'm ready to hear it and this voice came it says you still think you're not good enough Stop being so hard on yourself. And I just lost it. I'm driving in the car. I'm sobbing uncontrollably in the car while I'm driving. I'm driving like this so the people driving by don't see me crying. It's just like this overwhelming. I, I didn't even go back to my house. There was nobody there. But I wouldn't go back to my home, right? I kept driving the car, right? And I was like, I'm just going to keep driving until I stop crying. So ultimately, ultimately, I came to the realization that I still had not forgiven myself for God knows what number of shit I have done in my life. But I realize that I've still, I'm still trying to prove something to myself. You still think you're not good enough. Stop being so hard on yourself. It was probably one of the most powerful moments of my life. And it happened less than a year ago. So, it, Shannon, it never stops. The work continues. Okay. What I do, even as I do it, allows me to continue doing the work. It's when we, when we come to believe that it's not going to work for me, it doesn't apply for me, you know, uh, it's different for me. It's, it's in those moments where we try to separate ourselves from being human and from being just like everybody else. And... I, like you, need everybody here on this call. I need community. I need connection. I need to be able to say these things out loud. I need, to, I need people to see me cry, even though I don't want to, so that they can hold space for me, so that I know that no matter what's going on in my life, that I'm going to be safe, and that I'm going to be heard, and that I'm going to be taken care of.